Hello guys, uh, I'm, at the moment I'm working on multiplayer for ailment and I don't know, maybe you're gonna be interested in this kind of stuff, like how it all works. I'm gonna go too deep, or I'm not gonna, gonna go deep at all, but I'm just gonna show some progress which I'm making. So uh, here I've got this scene, um, Unity scene, which is basically the very first level of ailment, uh, except there is no any object except enemies which are here i've got here some enemies just for since for same enemies without any guns and i'm just gonna uh, i'm using photon um which is uh basically sdk for the for the multiplayer uh there are some options of great multiplayer within unity and one one is uh, basically unit which is um solution the unity but this is external stuff so I just uh, don't know that this SDK uh, photon because people saying it's actually better uh, in some ways so I said I started with, with UNET but I didn't really like it uh, so I'm set to try again with uh, photon so at the moment I've got here some like, some um, components and I'm gonna make a build now and you're gonna see that the players are instantiated here they're just going to be spawned here and then we're gonna just see how it all works uh, within two um, two clans okay let's make a build um, build yep not gonna take too long which is good that's pretty curious stuff and I'm I'm getting pretty good good um, Pretty good results, so let's see. It's not actually, um, it's not very easy. I thought it's, I thought it's gonna be kind of um, hard, but it's actually super hard. And I don't know how long it's gonna take. Uh, I'm planning to finish it like in a month, but I hope, I hope maybe, maybe faster. But I think I still have to implement so many stuff. So we've got here um, two files of Unity uh, game. So let's create two games. I'm just going to open two games here. And uh, we'll see how it all works. I'm just going to close this. And let's start. So multiplayer, multiplayer here. I'll put some like Ivan 2, Ivan 1. Those are the names of the characters basically there. And then I'm gonna join a room. I'm gonna put room 1, or just room, room. And join a room and join a room. Okay, so we've got here these two characters, and we can move around with these guys and just see how they work. Uh, and then we can switch the screen. We can move another character too. They hitting each other, kissing, or whatever they're doing there. So, and then we're gonna go to this to the other room, uh, which is uh, the room with enemies. Let's see how they react. So you can see, like it's it's pretty good synchronized. So I can push the enemies, and they you can see in all both of the screens they're pushed uh, with a character. You get some like small jittery effect, but it's not that noticeable. Actually, it's pretty good, uh, and we've got pretty good good ping rate, which is here. So I'm pretty happy with uh, with the results at the moment. I'm just gonna kill these guys. The thing is, like, the death here is still not synchronized. So, for example, in the one screen, the enemy actually dies, and on the other one, his dead body is still moving. So, this, I just. And I'm noticing some other stuff. As you can see, the gun of the player is not moving correctly on the right screen. 
So let's scale these guys to here. To use this character. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, as you can see, some of the uh, the gun is not synchronized because it's synchronized with character movement at the moment, but it's not synchronized with the position of the enemy, which I will have to still implement. Um, yeah. <laughs> so as I'm saying, it's not that easy to create a multiplayer in the game. It's actually super hard and uh, takes. A huge amount of time and basically testing like you know the synchronization but at the moment at least uh, character movement and enemy movement is pretty synchronized which I'm pretty happy with so yeah see you in the next progress part I guess I don't know when it's gonna be but just subscribe <laughs> bye